Hey Star Wars fans, all right, so today I got a helmet here for Jim for Fulcrum and the Force on YouTube. So he wants to do a uh, custom Mandalorian helmet uh, to be a, an original character of his. So he wants to paint the design on it. I think he's gonna do like a, like an orange and purple Ahsoka uh, Fulcrum type design on the helmet, but I'm basically just going to finish this helmet and get it in black, uh, just one color and send it off, and then he's going to finish the helmet from that point forward doing his custom paint on it. Hey, future Elvis here. Past Elvis doesn't know this, but Jim will eventually DM me and say, hey, why don't you just do the whole design? And that's what I did. Uh, but to get started, so this is a file from Alter Ego on Etsy. I think it's called the... Oruk, Oruk, something like that, I forget. Um, but it comes with a couple different earpieces. This is the cleaner earpiece. Um, and then it also has a separate vent here for the back. And uh, yeah, kind of a neat helmet. It's a little shorter in the back and longer in the front, which is cool, I think, uh, because this keeps it off your shoulders and this covers a beard. So yeah, I think this is a, this is a really unique helmet style that he picked out. So uh, I've already done some some sanding here on the dome. Uh, I'm also going to do some sanding here on on the flat pieces. And then something that I haven't covered a whole bunch in other videos is using a um, using a hot end or a soldering iron to uh, melt down some of the pieces that uh, are really rough that you know would take probably a long time to sand. So, for example, on the bottom of this helmet right here. I get up really close I never know if my GoPro will get this very good um, but right here I've started to melt down with the soldering iron the edge around this helmet where the supports connect if I go to the other side I haven't done anything with the soldering iron on this one here so let me um, let me switch my uh, uh, camera angle one second there we go hopefully you can get a little closer this way here um, but like all of these areas where the supports were connected on the helmet are pretty rough. So instead of trying to sand that down, well, I, I will sand it down, but first I'm just going to take my soldering iron and almost like spreading butter on bread or something like that. I, I just kind of go over these edges a little bit. Um, if it starts to get a little too hot there, then I go work in a different area for a while and then come back. But yeah, I just kind of go over this stuff with the soldering iron and it just makes it a little smoother, a little flatter to begin with before I start sanding. Yeah, this helmet doesn't really have any other spots, but I did on the ears, I did already kind of go in and, and uh, curve those a little bit for the areas where um, you could see the layer lines with the soldering iron. So anyway, I'm just gonna keep using the soldering iron, then I'm gonna sand it all down. We'll get into some, uh, some fillers and primers. I really love this trick of using the soldering iron. It really saves a lot of time. I don't have to do nearly as much sanding. So when we were done with that, I used the uh, 80 grit, I think, sandpaper and sanded down the entire helmet to get ready for primers. And then on this one I used, uh, I didn't film it, but I used the red filler primer from Duplicolor. I really like that stuff. Um, and then I wet sanded it with uh, I think a 220 maybe, and then I wet sanded it with a, a 400 grit sandpaper just to make it nice and smooth, ready for that black primer, because we weren't going to paint anything past the black uh, primer, so uh, I figured once the clear coat was on, the black primer would look really good. But then we had to tape it off and mask it for the Fulcrum logo, and you can see I, I printed off some pictures of Jim's other helmet to try to get an idea of how to put it on there and make it symmetrical. This is playing at like, I don't know, a million percent speed. So it, it took a long time to, to get that design on there and get it all taped and perfect, ready for that purple paint. But yeah, so once we got all the tape on, I was a little worried that the purple glitter paint wasn't going to look so good on top of black. So first thing I did is I did a white primer um, where the purple's going to be, and then I went back and painted the purple over that white. And I'm glad I did, because it really made the purple shine nice and bright. And then I did one more coat of the purple, 
And that was pretty much it. Okay, so our helmet is all done and ready to go. Now it's just time to give it a clear coat. And uh, what I'm gonna use is, you've probably heard me reference it before as a 2K clear coat. Um, but what it is is a, like a uh, classic car show clear coat. So a, you know, crystal clear, really, uh, really smooth, flat, crystal clear, clear coat. And the way to get that is with this 2K, two part, clear coat. So this is the clear coat here and this is the hardener. Um, so it's a it's a catalyzed clear coat. So you mix this with this and that hardens it. Um, so 2K really just means like two part. Um, but you mix that uh, one to four. So uh, I'll take this measuring cup here and I'll, I'll do like four ounces of the clear, one ounce of the hardener. And I'll usually get enough to spray the helmet twice. So I'll, I'll spray it once, let it dry a little bit, and hopefully before it starts to harden on me, I can get a second a second coat on the helmet. But with, uh, with any catalyzed uh, paint, um, or like this, like a urethane clear coat, uh, you gotta protect your lungs, it's no good for you. So wear a respirator when you're using it. Throw that on. And then before I put it in my paint gun, just because uh, if there's any little hardened pieces floating around in either of these and you know it gets in my cup I'm going to strain it when I put it into the HVLP uh, sprayer gun so we'll, uh, we'll get that ready to go over there too. I don't always use the uh, the cap for the reservoir on my HVLP, but uh, sometimes I I get going just a little too fast and uh, I get a splash out on the helmet. So yeah, I, I do recommend using the. Okay, we got a respirator on. I'm gonna turn a fan on here just to get some of the overspray out of here. And uh, yeah, I think we're ready to go. And we're doing a bit of a dust coat the first time around. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a wet coat. All right, so we're going to let this one dry for just a few more minutes while we still have our clear coat in the gun, and then we'll try a second coat. And here it is all done. What do you think, man? So all I did since the clear coat was I put in this visor, which is just so cool. I love this magenta visor. And then I painted the arrows kind of a magenta to match the visor. I, uh, I'm really happy with how the fulcrum design turned out. But I think my favorite thing about this helmet is that it's pretty like it's clean and shiny like so star wars isn't clean and shiny star wars is used and weathered and kind of beaten up you know like and and that's not this you know you don't see that a lot in star wars except for maybe like the empire or you know these these uh, big factions of uh of you know dark characters evil characters they're the only ones that have the nice shiny stuff so i was just i was excited to do something super clean and shiny and and yeah i just i love that and so with the purple let's see if i can get this thing to to focus my camera just does a terrible job of focusing sometimes there we go so we got the purple with the silver flake in it and then the magenta visor and then uh i didn't use a white primer coat on this on the ear pieces so those the purple on the sides is just a little bit darker. 
And yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, unfortunately, because of that clear coat. So you're just gonna have to wipe it off from time to time, Jim, I apologize. But yeah, there it is, man, what do you think? Well, hey, so I'm gonna send this from Houston to London. I have no idea how long that takes, but <laughs> it's on the way, dude. And uh, yeah, and hey, thank you so much uh, to you guys that have stayed to the end of the video watching this. Uh, I really appreciate it. It's the whole reason I make these videos is because, you know, I get to share this stuff with you and I think that's super cool and, and you're super cool for still hanging around. Hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Um, check out videos that uh, I make in the future or go back and see some of the ones that I've done in the past. Uh, I hope that the, the art, uh, the makes that I do only continue to get better. Um, and if my, if my DMs on Instagram are are uh, anything to base the, the life of my channel off of. Uh, I'm probably gonna be making a few more Mando helmets. I think people kinda like this this custom Mando thing. Um, so who knows, maybe I'll end up becoming an armorer for the Mandalorian mercs or something. That, that would be pretty cool. But speaking of which, uh, uh, keep an eye out for a new channel name um, coming soon. Uh, when you'll see it, you'll be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's it for now and yeah. May the force be with you all, and I'll catch you in the next video.